Hey team, thanks for joining me. Today we're going to be taking a look at a post from r slash engineering students titled, Today my pre-med friends argued that you can get through engineering through memory alone. Oh, also make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. It doesn't really do anything for you, but it helps me out a lot. So thanks if you do that. This conversation really pissed me off. My pre-med friends, biochem and biostats, told me they believe you can make it through any undergraduate major through memory alone. While this may be the case for some majors, I assured them this would not work for engineering. The point of our major is to learn new ways to solve problems that have never been addressed before. Engineering is defined by our ability to create something new and solve problems in innovative ways. Our coursework is immensely difficult and takes more than memory to pass, let alone excel. They argued that in their experience as pre-med students, memory was the most important factor. I told them that the structure of their courses is completely different, but they just brushed me off. There isn't really a point to this post, but I wanted to rant about how angry this made me. Thank you for listening if you made it this far. Are they right? That's the question. Are these darned doctors, well, soon to be doctors, right? Can you make it through engineering with memory alone? I would say no. And why can I confidently make that claim? Well, it's because engineers are geniuses. Only someone with true intellect, such as I have up here, can take such a scary voyage that is becoming an engineer. That is a joke? To me at least, some engineers do believe that. But let me give you my real reason. OP kind of already talked about it, but it's true. We have to solve new problems as engineers. I don't know much about the medical field, but from what I've heard, yes, memorization is a big part of becoming a doctor or doing any pursuit in the medical field. You gotta be really good at memorizing. Is that the only skill you need? I don't know, but if you ask a pre-med student, they would seem to think so. And being a doctor, that's so complex, right? There's so many different situations you can run into. So how is it that memorization is all you need to succeed in that field? My best guess is because the things they memorize point them in the right direction. If you're in the medical field, again, I don't know much about it, but you just have to kind of know where to take your first step. And then from there, you have enough skills to know where to go. Now, can the same rules be applied to engineers? I actually think yes. I think there is some validity to their claim. I think they're onto something. I think when engineers run into certain situations, they have to know which first step to take, but that first step only takes them so far. I think that's the difference here. In the medical field, the first step you take off of something you memorize is gonna get you further than an engineer's first step based on something they memorize. An engineer, they'll memorize something and it just kind of gets them a generic rule, like they know which formula to use, and then they kind of have to figure everything else out. Whereas, let's take a pharmacist, for example, they might hear some symptoms of a patient and then be like, okay, that narrows it down to like these 10 things I can prescribe you. Off of so little information, both fields get to different places. The thing the engineer memorized will get them 10% of the way, whereas the thing a pharmacist memorized will get them about 40% of the way. Both are hard, both are difficult, they're not easy jobs to do. That's why they pay them so much. But I'm not gonna brush off these pre-med students like they brushed off this engineering student and say that there is no credit to their claim. I think they're onto something. I just don't think they're quite there yet. They fell a little short, it's no big deal. That's what pre-med students do. That's why they pursue that field. Okay, <laughs> I'm joking. People that actually become doctors, they get all the praise in the world. But you do run into a lot of people that kind of just de facto say, yeah, I'm pre-med. <laughs> Like, what are you trying to become? They're like, I don't know, I'm gonna figure that out. But yes, to gas up engineers even more, you know, I just love blowing smoke. I think a lot of situations in the engineering world are very novel. You're kind of figuring stuff out for the first time. You gotta be a pioneer. You can't just follow some rules. Now, engineers do have rules that they do follow, but those only take them so far. They're more of guidelines. They're not step-by-step -step instructions, but they're more things you need to consider when trying to solve a problem. Whereas the things that people in the medical field memorize, those will pretty much take them to the answer. They are not guidelines. They are rules in the medical field, and that's good. I'm glad that doctors have rules, but in the engineering world, there's a lot of improv involved. You have your basic, you know, rules. You got a yes and, you got to use the quadratic formula, but then what you do with those things is totally up to the engineer. And that's where the skill of an engineer comes in. And I think sometimes engineering school does do a bad job of preparing engineers for this world. Because a lot of engineering school is a lot of like, yeah, plug and play. Use this formula, get an answer. It doesn't encourage much independent thinking. 
engineering school. But that's such an integral skill you need when being an actual engineer. It isn't just plug and play. And maybe that's where these pre-med students are getting this idea that, oh, you guys just need to memorize some stuff. I see you make those formula sheets before you go to a midterm. You just have to know the stuff on the paper and you'll be fine. But you ask an engineering student how much of that cheat sheet they're actually using, and they probably use like half of one formula. <laughs> I understand OP's frustration. Where do these pre-med students get off? But for any prospective engineers out there, just remember, we only have to take four years of school. They're taking like a decade. They do end up making like double what you make, but it takes a while for them to get there. So ignore them, enjoy your late twenties because they're gonna be in school in those fancy white coats while you're chilling in probably like Patagonia or something. But then again, I could be way off, right? But who would know the answer to this question? Where are they getting this idea? Well, let's take to the comments to see what they say. Pre-med is all memorization. They are also all assuming that they will all 100% be doctors one day and acquire all the prestige that comes with it. They haven't earned that yet, but are projecting that onto other degrees they see as lesser and can't possibly imagine any other major being more deserving than them. That's what it comes down to. I think I was being a little nice with my response now. That was fucking brutal. <laughs> yeah, these fucking wannabes projecting all their hopes and dreams onto us intellects. <laughs> That's crazy, dude. Oh my God. Also all assuming that they will all 100% be doctors one day and acquire all the prestige that comes with it. That's crazy. That's, there's so many angles to that one sentence alone. But I did kind of hint at that earlier where it's like, yeah, a lot of people that are like pre-med don't end up actually going all the way. It's just like a STEM version of being undeclared. I <laughs> am sorry, but I've seen that to be true. It's a way to be undeclared and still have a superiority complex, you know? <laughs> That's sorry. They're projecting on other degrees they see as lesser and can't possibly imagine any other major being more deserving than them. You know, I am an engineer, so I see a lot of the superiority complex the engineers have, but maybe that exists with pre-med students too. The thing is with engineers, we keep it within engineering. We look down on civil engineering and we look up at software engineering, electrical engineering, computer engineering, biomedical, I think, even get some praise. We keep that shit in house, but apparently pre-med students like to go outside their own field and be like, hey, we're better than all of you we're the top shit. Whereas engineers, we're cannibalistic. You know, we'll eat our own. Not possible. If you don't understand the fundamentals and you don't learn the ability to change fundamentals together to solve practical physical problems, you don't succeed. So this person is agreeing. It is not just memorization. There's an application to the things you memorize, which is what I was kind of talking about too. There are all these things you must know, but that's just the bare minimum. An engineer comes in and decides what to do with these ideas. Whereas people in the medical field use the information they know as the beginning and end of their job. That's kind of why there's that whole joke, right? You tell a doctor your problems and they immediately Google it because they're just trying to access that information. They might know it off the dome, but still they cross-reference it what they find online. And if everything's online, then why do we need doctors? Well, doctors are important or else you would believe everything you see on WebMD. And if you did, you would think, oh, well, I'm gonna die, <laughs> like, this morning. <laughs> like, your arm could be a little itchy, and you're like, oh, okay, so that's the end. <laughs> but doctors step in, and they're like, no, that's just a rash. Here's some ointment. This is so funny, because I'm a pre-med student. Don't ask me why I joined this subreddit. And I always talk about how everyone can do medicine, and that being an engineer is a whole different story. If I was good at maths and physics, I would be an engineer. Big reason why I'm in this subreddit, because not everyone can do what engineers do, and I find it fascinating. Found the engineer's burner account. That's right, there's no way this is real. But if we take this at face value and we do say that this is real, then yes, even a pre-med student has vouched for engineers. Even they're calling BS on their own shit. I think at the end of the day, we need to stop being like, this is better than this. I think we can just live in a place where we're like, these are both hard, and that's it. <laughs> we don't have to compare. Besides, we need each other, right? Engineers sit in chairs all day and get bad posture, and then we go to a doctor so they can give us some pill that makes us feel better. It is a cohesive ecosystem that we have garnered, and let's keep it that way. There's too much strife, okay? We just gotta learn to coexist. Plus, doctors need hospitals, right? 
Who else but engineers can make giant ugly gray buildings that are sterile? I rest my case. LOL, as someone who did both pre-med and mech engineering, your friends are wrong. My open book engineering classes and exams, example thermo, had an average grade of 50% with highest being around 70%. I'm not sure how memory could help you more when the textbook was literally open book. Good luck. I'm not sure where you are, but take heart that most pre-med students don't make it into med school. <laughs> That's funny. If you feel bad about them giving you some shit, just remember they're probably gonna fail. Think about their failure. That should make you feel better. So yeah, I think it's safe to say that engineering is more than just remembering some stuff. But one thing you must remember is to like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, follow me on Instagram, and I will see you in the next one.